Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is eggplant parmesan, my version. It's very, very delicious and nutritious and very simple to do this eggplant parmesan. Stay with me to see all the steps and you will love it. It's cheesy and very soft and melts in your mouth. Uh, believe me, when you try this recipe, you will do it all the time. Very, very simple. And also, you can f do uh, make it, put it in the freezer, and whenever you need it, take it out of the freezer and bake it. I have here four eggplants. You see that they have a dot in the bottom. That means that's a male eggplant. You don't have that much seeds inside. Uh, I wash my eggplants, clean it, then I cut uh, the two ends and I will slice all my eggplants. You know, eggplants, when uh, you roast it, it shrinks, it shrinks. Even if you have four eggplants here, it will not be that much in uh, the end. This version of eggplant parmesan, I'm not using breadcrumbs and I'm not frying the eggplant. I will roast it in the oven. Now, after I cut, slice all of them, I will put some salt, like that they will release the excess of uh, water on them. I will leave them for, cover them, and leave them for a few minutes. Now, after a few minutes, I will take paper towel. You see the water coming? Say paper towel or uh, something else to dry with it. Dry all your eggplant one by one. Like that, you don't have a lot, uh, release that much liquid when you bake it. I'm trying to do one by one here. Use paper towel or a kitchen towel, a clean one, and uh, dry all your uh, eggplant. Try to squeeze it. Then I line them up on a baking sheet, and I have parchment paper under it, and I brush all of them with some olive oil. You can use vegetable oil if you like to, but I prefer olive oil. I brush all of them like that you can get some color and get roasted. Uh, I preheat my oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And when I put it there in the oven, I will you know, wash them until uh, you get you know, crispy and roasted. Here in my uh, baking pan, the PRX one. I have my uh, tomato sauce. Uh, you can use a marinara sauce or any sauce you prefer. I season it with uh, some oregano, basil, uh, a little bit salt, pepper, and a little bit of uh, cumin and garlic. I cooked it good. That's the one that I'm using here. Then I will put uh, the first layer of uh, eggplant. You see how much eggplant I had in the beginning and how much in the end now? It shrinks a lot, the eggplant. I make my first layer like that. Then put some more of the sauce. The sauce is up to, to you. You can put a lot, you can put a little bit, depend how you like it. Then here I have the mozzarella cheese, the shredded one. Uh, put a nice quantity of mozzarella cheese right there. Then I will use a second uh, kind of uh, cheese. You can use the Parmesan cheese. And this one is a uh, aged Gouda cheese. It's really very tasty cheese. That's the cheese that I put in between the layers. Then I will make the second layer of uh, eggplant. If you have a smaller dish, you can make more than two layers. You can make up to four layers, but my dish is uh, wider. It will be only enough for two layers. Then I will repeat the same thing. After the eggplant, I will put uh, again some of the tomato sauce. Try 
try to cover it like don't overdo it but only cover it with uh, some sauce then the same thing like uh, the first uh, layer I will put the the cheese the mozzarella cheese and the gouda or parmesan cheese whatever you prefer but the combination of two or three cheeses give it a very nice uh, flavor now also the shredded mozzarella and i have some sliced uh, fresh mozzarella i would add it on the the top For the quantity of cheese and uh, sauce is up to everyone. Uh, however you like your uh, eggplant parmesan, that's how you make the sauce and the cheese. I baked it on uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit until it become like that uh, for 30 to 40 minutes. But each person oven is different. You will see when uh, the cheese melted and everything get together. In the beginning I covered, then the last uh, five minutes I uncovered and leave it in no, uh, uh, get a uh, low color. But you see how cheesy and soft this eggplant parmesan is very delicious, very soft and easy to make. Let me know in the comments how did you like it. Thank you for watching and see you next time with a new recipe and enjoy.